black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Well, 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 what up world? Back with another one. Today we eat Domino's pizza. It's the deep dish. It's not deep dish, I lie. It's pan crust. So uh, Pizza Hut is the OG inventor of the pan, I believe, and Domino's has done it. And I gotta tell you, there's a rivalry going down between the hut and the nose because Domino's has really, really refined and come close to uh, getting on Pizza Hut's ass, if I must say so myself. So the old, the age old issue of a mukbanger, it's not that age old because mukbanging is brand new, mukbanging, whatever you want to call it, uh, is to get it while it's hot. So this just came, I slid it out. And uh, before we do anything, I just need to make a nice little sauce for us because you know I'm saucy. And then we're going to make some chicken finger pizza sandwiches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Early. Okay, got the dish. What's up? Why don't we just pop that right in the mid? You know I got to mix in <sighs> with the valley of the shadow of ranch. We're hiding in it. We're hidden in the valley of the shadow of ranch. Okay, boom. There's just something so... <clears throat> Not satisfying about that sound, but there is something so satisfying about the dipping of a za. But we're gonna make a little weird blend, a little barbecue ranch. Is it barbecue though? Is it just barbecue? Nah, bruh. We gotta get some Frankies in there because we need some hot sauce on a za 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 za. You know what I mean? And we're gonna introduce today the world's cutest whisk. And oh getting schlaupe and we whisk in i whisk you a merry christmas <laughs> wow i'm clearly on one today out of control anyways we whisk up and uh you must taste test it is delicious we pour up yo this video is good vibes already girl <laughs> nazin Bellagio, you guys need to tell me fountains around the world. You need to tell me fountains around the world. I only know the Bellagio now. Okay. There we go. Ooh, yep. That's a fine marinara sauce right there. Speaking of marinara sauce, when I get my pizza, I get light sauce because. I'd rather have my dips. Okay, boom. Let's do her. So you got half supreme, half cheese and pep. But I ain't gonna lie. My head has been on the supreme. That's for you to have a little gander at. What's good for the goose is good for the gander, I think is what they say. These pieces are not even on forch. Definitely, but we're just gonna have to make do. Sometimes this is what you gotta do in this world. You gotta make do. Also, these chicken fingers, by the way, are President's choice. And I cooked them in the air fryer. And today we are really doing it like this: golden brown on the bottom, chicken finger in the middle. Getting insano with the shits. And you know we have to dip. <laughs> this, guys, is just stupidity in my hands. Delicious stupidity, though. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Sometimes I think, wow, you, sir, are a food clown on the internet. And this is true. I am. I knew it. I'm aware. 
And sometimes I think, you know, guy, guy, that's a little shameful, isn't it? Maybe. I don't know. It's all subjective. But I will say this. <laughs> when I have a bite like that, <laughs> ain't no worries. Because that, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> is pure bliss. That's that that's got the wow factor. First off, Domino's pan pizza is fire. Second, the flavors of the Supreme. The sausage, amazing. Third, the chicken fingers, out of control. And fourth, This swanky ass sauce that I just mixed up, this barbecue, hot, spicy barbecue ranch. Uh, no. Come at me, bro. You ain't got shit on me. There you go. Got the pizza. Er, pizza oh isn't it obvious that we have pizza all right we have the, we have the pizza we have the pepperoni and the cheese which i will say isn't looking as sauce as this side this side is way more saucy in terms of its aesthetic value no we dip we don't pour we dip we don't pour around here we dip we also make sandwiches Jack and Fanger sandwiches. Warning. Do not watch this video drunk and or stoned. with no access to food because you will be suffering. That's legit. This is a top, top five smash. 
in the black hoodie catalog. And all my experiences on this channel. I feel like this is a top five smash. In a little bit more, in, in, a, in a more serious matter or topic. Not that serious though. Don't stray, don't worry. It's not like that crazy, but it's more the fact that as I've done this channel, I have harbored some shame, guilt, and embarrassment, I guess, regarding just like being a food savage, but it's like I'm at the point where I've just released all that. I'm letting it go because there is this weird thing that happens with food. People like to shame people for enjoying crazy, insane food. But it's like low key behind closed doors in your room watching something on your laptop drunk or maybe not drunk whatever some secret shit some alone shit we're all food whores like well not all I'd say 90% of humans like love dirty delicious food for you to try to come at somebody for doing the shit that you secretly are doing or wish you were doing or are too afraid to do because it's like well I'll gain five pounds if I eat a piece of bread and that's true. I understand that aspect, like watching your weight and shit. That's why I intermittent fast, baby. <laughs> so I can maintain and crush. full of savage it's just interesting food shame a lot of people try to get at you or impose their dietary things upon you or talk shit upon you for just enjoying some you know delights but Most usually, that's their insecurities. Just transferring onto you. And don't fall for that shit. Do, however care for your weight I know I'm on here eating crazy shit but I do it in a way where the calories are majority for the camera it's like I'm not out here weighing a thousand million you know what I mean well that was a delicious delectable dirty smash and uh, that's as far as I can go these last two will be seen later on in the eve so Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.